What's going on guys? It's Paul with 12voteview.com and today's a hot day to be outside unless you're swimming in the ocean or something or lake or pool or somewhere saying stay cool. Today I have a Pioneer AVH-X1500 DVD. This is Pioneer's first in line DVD, touchscreen DVD player. Yeah, it's my DVDs. Um, the price on these uh, is around around two ninety nine. Has a one year warranty. You know, it's got all your basic DVD features and you know fits most newer vehicles. Uh, you have to look and make sure you get a you know kit and stuff. Um, for those people who have two thousand two or older Chevy trucks, this don't fit unless you unless you love doing fiberglass and cutting up your dash. Then they don't fit. But these don't fit in older older vehicles unless it's a uh, you know. You know, unless there's a website that says so. Anyway, let's get this thing opened up and see what comes in the box, and then we'll power it up and see what the display looks like. All right, got the box open. Got a uh, got the wiring harness, and we got some mounting screws, two sets of them. Uh, looks like we got a let's see, oh, a USB extension. Looks like about about three feet long. Uh, the radio comes with a remote. Pretty nice, got little little grips on it right back here. Uh, let's see, warranty card, limited warranty, one year warranty. All right, put it there. Okay, here's the manual. Comes in three different languages, so you, know, you got plenty of read material. You can also go online to the PioneerElectronics.com website, and if you need to. You know, search for some features you can't really find readily on the demand. You can go to the website and download the manual in PDF form, and you actually search for you know terms and stuff, and probably find your answer to your question a lot faster. All right, open the box here. It's it's, it's built in the styrofoam. Oh, I'll just let it slide down. Got styrofoam. Hold the radio in. Slide it out. There's nothing else in the box. I'm gonna set this off to the side. Alright, we got some, there we go. nice little sturdy styrofoam. It's not some of them where the styrofoam just falls apart in your hand like, like M&M's on a hot day. Sorry. Alright, a little foamy bag and there's the radio. Alright, let's get this little puppy mounted up. We'll see what the back of it looks like. Then we'll flip it around, power it up, and we'll play with the front screen of it and see where it takes us. All right, we got to turn around and get a little display here. We'll see what's on the back. Looks like quite a bit of stuff going on here. Uh, I guess we'll start from the top left. Uh, this is your FM antenna input, so you catch uh, FM stations. Uh, down here, you got a rear view camera input right here. Yeah. So if you have a rear view camera, you just plug it in. It's one of the wires you hook up to make it work. Uh, get your Front, rear, and subwoofer controls. These right here. Uh, this is your, of course, your power plug. Where power plug goes. Um, your aux input right here. Um, we also got. I'm having to read it. Right and left um, audio input. That's another aux input. And you got video out right here. Video input. Uh, this is your 5 volt uh, uh, USB output or input. This little, little dude here, right here, this is for wired remote. It's like for if you have steering controls, you can purchase an optional uh, steering control module. And it'll plug into here, wired up program to your car and for the radio, and then you can control these new radio functions through your existing steering wheel controls. Uh, this piece right here, this radio is navigation ready. You can get the navigation piece and the plug in right here, and you can have navigation. The, the, that part runs around, oh, I think three forty nine, three ninety nine, and it goes with antenna and everything for you. And as far as what I can tell, that's everything on the back of it. Let's get it turned around, powered up, and we'll see if we can hit all the features within a reasonable amount of time. All right, we got it turned on, and it's going through a. Demo mode. That's mainly mainly for people who uh, have like you know, stores and displays for radios. They tells you all the different little features of the radio. 
But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can bypass that demo mode and go uh, straight into looking at all the features ourselves. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, go, I'll talk about the outside first. You got your, uh, this is the sensor for the remote. This is your reset button. If you can see that, it's a really tiny hole, really small. You put like a little, little pin in there and hold it for a few seconds. It'll shut the radio down and reset all the default settings. Here's your eject button for the CD player. This is the CD player itself. Uh, it's just the, you know, the basic stuff. It's got Pandora, Mix Tracks, it does DivX. So if you have the, you can burn movies, you know, that you have, you know, backups of, you know, without having to actually burn an actual DVD, you can just, just burn just the, the file on, on a DVD and it'll, should play it if it's in the right format. Uh, of course it does play DVD and also uh, that Mix Tracks over here as well. Then on the side right here, you got your volume up and down. Uh, let's go to the radio here. Volume up and down. And every time you hit something, you can only if you can hear it, but you can hear the beeping. And there's your volume control there. Mute. Uh, this is, you know, if you're like going up the drive through window and you're like just, just blasting away at Madonna, and then you can mute it so that way you don't have to hear Madonna. <laughs> and then when you click it, you know, it just goes back up to the full volume again. Uh, the next button down is with the little four little blue squares. You click on it, and it actually brings you to the, you know, the, the different options that you have for your radio. You, know, you got radio, DVD. If you have one here, it'll light up. If you have a USB or an iPod plugged into here, uh, this will light up. Now, if you have an iPod, um, if you, if you don't get the 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 iPod accessory cable, then you'll have limited function with your iPod. You you may or may not get to you know, play songs, you may not have all your takes and stuff, but if you get the right cable, then you have full audio and video capabilities through for the iPod for here. Uh, which means like Pandora and stuff. That's your aux. Oops. What the what oh, uh, A V if you have apps on your phone for uh, you know, it's called advanced app mode. You click on here, you can see when you have apps that are compatible, you can hear sounds and videos through the radio. Rear view camera off. Um, if you have one hooked up, you can click on it and you, know, you, you actually see what's on the screen without having to be back it up. And down here we got your video, audio system settings, theme settings, and favorites there at the bottom. Uh, down here, beneath the four squares, click on mode, you got display off. All it does is if you, it's basically like turning the radio off and turning the key off. Because when you go to here and turn the radio off, it doesn't really shut down like what most radios do. You have to go in and click mode off, but turn this way off, and it basically shuts the radio down from there. So it's like you do two features. Right. Uh, track, this is your track forward and back channel change button. So if he's on the radio, uh, yeah. So change the stations. These are your presets. Uh, let's say he's on station 95.3. Press and hold number five down. And now it's set. That's your FM1, FM2, FM3. Actual actual buttons you can press to see what's going on. So there's some other button on the side over here. That's your date and time. Of course, now it's saying it's January 1st. It's not. <laughs> uh, we're get your EQ. You click on it, and you actually change. Uh, use your your factory presets. You know, powerful vocal, super bass, flat. If you go to custom, you can actually uh, scroll down wherever you want it at. And you click. You know, whichever whichever one you want. So if you want to sound like that, then you know all you do is just touch it as if. All you do is click X and go back. Uh, I guess while we're in, in this particular menu, we'll go back. Uh, it starts off here. You got your your fader. Where, where you go? Fader and balance. Of course, we all know what that is. Front, back, left, right. Custom equalizer. It was just in that. Auto EQ. Uh, it's usually off, but if you, it's a way to have the radio automatically adjust your settings for you. But you don't, you know, if you want to use custom settings, you don't, you don't need that. Sonic center control. Uh, I'm a loss for that. What that is? I have to look up the manual. Loudness, you got uh, low, mids, and highs. That can really throw out some you know, really harder hitting bass and 
entire sound. The subwoofer controls, so you actually turn the subwoofer off and on from here. You get your off, on, phase, normal or reverse. Level, you can crank the, I think it's 15, or no, 6. So negative 6, positive 6. Oh, oh. Well, you can really turn down that subwoofer from negative 24. Or all the way up to six. Frequency starts off at uh, 50 hertz and goes all the way up to 125. Any more than you start going to mid bass range and stuff. So that kind of defeats the purpose of the subwoofer. All right, uh, the next one we have a high pass filter. I just turn it off and on. That way you can make sure there's you know little to no bass coming out of your high -ass tweeters, front door speakers. Source level, if you're not sure what SLA or source level is on most all Pioneer radios, everything you have is a source. CD player is a source. Your radio is a source. Your um, USB is a source. Each, each one of those is its own source, and that source level adjustment is you can turn the volume separately, kind of give more of an output for each different source. Uh, Right now is in in the uh, on the radio. So you click on I think AM. Uh, let's see, back. And I'm at the bottom of that. The little gears right here. Okay, the next one we got aux input, audio video or AV input. Turn it off or on. It's always turned off on by default. And what what that let, allows you to do is you be like a external DVD player, Xbox, PlayStation, some sort of unit that provides a video output. You can turn on the audio video input in here and plug it in the back behind the radio and, and it gives you a function on the front. In fact, if I leave here, I click this down here, I'll now have an AV button, which I just turned it on and then there it is. You click on it, it'll pop up on the screen. Um, let's see, what was that? Okay, yeah, we'll wait for it to pop up anyway. Uh, where it says attention, viewing of the front seat uh, video source while driving is strictly prohibited. What that means is, they just don't want you driving down the road watching movies because you could lead to accidents and stuff. And there's actually some some states have laws against front drivers being able to see a video. If they can, then they can be pulled over. If you're, you might want to look at your state's laws. Um, it can be bypassed to to watch it, but I'm not uh, going to approve of that method because you know I, I want to follow all state laws. But it should be, in order to watch a video properly, you should be stopped with your parking brake engaged, then the video will pop up on the screen. And, and then in most states, it might be illegal to watch videos while you're driving. Now, with that being said, we can bypass that. And you can easily do that by using a, um, a toggle switch. Because on, on the back of the radio, I don't know if you can see it, there's a green wire pulling it around. This is the parking brake wire. It's supposed to be hooked up to the parking brake. But you can easily bypass that. I'm kind of short out on the thing there. And uh, of course, I don't have a video in there right now, but um, you can use a toggle switch to toggle that green wire to ground. But, you know, like I said, uh, what's wrong with my radio? You know, camera, doing it again. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm not promoting video bypass. I just want to show you that it can be done. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know why my camera is doing that. Auto focus is screwy. I don't know how long it's been doing it. Anyway, all right, well, I'll kind of hurry up this video a little bit. Um, you go into the system, that's where we just were. Uh, RG input, RGB is for the iPhone, or you can do Navi, you know, back and forth. Uh, Make track set up. You can go into here. You can select what kind of uh, how long you want the, the song to play. Just, you know, 60 seconds, or just play, play the whole song. 90 seconds. You know, depends. Display effect. You know, blinking and stuff. Uh, cut in, cut in effect. You can have it uh, do different things and effect standard stuff. I'll, I'll have this up just for the, the mix tracks. Uh, you got the uh, picture adjustment. It's probably not showing up because the the screen's not grounded. You're not stopped in, in a parking position. So I'm 
touching the uh, parking brake wire to the ground right now. That's why it's popping up. So if you click on it, then you do contrast, dim, color, hue, change different things about the screen, and uh, different stuff like that. Um, system language. If you, if you speak a different language, you click here and go to you know, Spanish, French, you know, whatever they have. In here, demo mode. This is where you'll turn demo mode off. Uh, mute. Um, you actually tell it what uh, what DBs to click on, or you just mute it all the way. Like, if you don't want it completely shut off, you can have the DBs shut down a little bit. Uh, rear speaker, keyboard, English, ever scroll. That's a uh, if I guess the song so long it scrolls across the screen. Camera polarity. Some cameras turn on with negative polarity. Some turn off with negative polarity on the reverse camera mode. Uh, video signal settings. Um, everything set to auto, that way everything will be automatically turned off or on. Uh, the star, unregistered. I uh, can't do anything with that. Okay, that that one either. Okay, it was working. Good. There we go. Uh, what was that? Okay. All right. Uh, trying to get the. Next one is theme. You can set different themes, backgrounds. Uh, got little motion picture ones here, not like like move around and stuff. Illumination. You can have it do different things. Um, change whatever color you want. You see, I'm changing the colors of those. And screen. You can also put in your own picture. If you had like a uh, picture on a thumb drive, it should show up right on, right on there. Uh, and all the graphical equals are there. That's, that's what the things are. I'm trying to keep that thing on there. And favorites. Still not doing anything. It's unregistered. Um, so it's been audio, video. Uh, of course, you know, the AV inputs now there because I have it turned on now. Yeah, I don't have a movie they're playing, but uh, if, it, if there was one, it would actually show up on the screen now. Alright, okay, um, that's pretty much it. I, um, I'm sure there's some, some other features I haven't ran across, but uh, the radio is a DVD player, a CD radio, a Pandora for the iPhone. You'll, you'll need an optional iPhone cable. They run around 40 50 bucks. Um, you can change the different colors, change the background. Turn off and on. More stuff you have turned on, you can turn on app mode. When the iPod is plugged in, you have a function turn on the app mode so you can use custom or advanced app. Alright, everybody, this, yeah, this is uh, the Pioneer ABH X 1500 DVD. Um, and, you know, the entry level DVD touchscreen radio. Yeah, starting off one, one, uh, $299, one year warranty. Um, if you want just a basic DVD player, you know, without any Bluetooth feature or series, you know, satellite radio or anything like, like any, or AC radio or anything like that, then that's probably the one you need or want to check into. It does do iPhone, iPod. You do have to get an extra cable to get full function of your iPod. Uh, you go to the Finder website and see which cable you need. Um, you know, it plays DivX, DVD, 50 watt the channel, um, Super Tune to 3, of course. I think all Finder radios are all Super Tune to 3. Uh, in fact, they should see it on front of the radio every time. It's all built in now. So, uh, it's navigation ready, which means you can go buy, purchase an optional navigation module for around three ninety nine, and for, probably for around seven hundred dollars, you have a navigation ready radio. Of course, it's Bluetooth. Um, it's got a six point one inch screen. It's got your push buttons down the side. You can change colors, background. Um, it's got an aux input, steering control input. Um, that's about it. Uh, it's actually you know, it's a pretty nice radio. It didn't have a lot of features, but you know, if you just want to just get by, then that's probably the one that you need. Uh, anyway, this is Paul with 12voltview.com. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you have a great day, and please subscribe.